When you first open up your new wireless outdoor speaker from Brookstone, first start out by making sure you have all the pieces. This includes the transmitter dock, speaker, transmitter dock power adapter, speaker power adapter, dual RCA cable, and the 3.5 millimeter right angle cable. You can insert batteries into the transmitter as a backup or if you prefer not to use the transmitter dock power adapter. Open the battery compartment door on the bottom of the transmitter by sliding the door down. Insert six AA batteries according to the polarity indicators inside the compartment. Then close the battery compartment cover securely. You can then either plug the power adapter into the transmitter and into a standard wall outlet or use it with just the batteries. Then you will connect the transmitter dock to an audio source. This can be done two ways depending on your audio source, either with RCA cables or a 3.5 millimeter cable. We will show you connecting to a few different devices such as a TV, stereo, and MP3 player. To connect the transmitter to a TV, you will plug one end of the RCA cables into the transmitter's RCA's right and left line-in connections. Then take the other end and plug them into the audio out right and left lines on the back of the TV. To connect the transmitter to a stereo, you will plug one end of the RCA cables into the transmitter's RCA right and left line-in connections. Then take the other end and plug them into the audio out right and left lines on the back of the stereo. To connect the transmitter to a device with a 3.5 millimeter connection, like an MP3 player, plug one end of the 3.5 millimeter right angle cable into the transmitter and the other end into the device's 3.5 millimeter audio jack, typically used for headphones. Now we can install the batteries into the speaker as a backup or if you prefer not to use the speaker power adapter. Turn the screws located on the bottom of the speaker counterclockwise and remove the battery compartment cover. Insert 8D batteries according to the polarity indicators inside the compartment. Then replace the battery compartment cover and tighten the screws. Now select the channel on the transmitter by sliding the channel selector on the transmitter from off to channel 1, 2, or 3. The transmitter dock power indicator illuminates. Press the power button on the speaker and the speaker power indicator illuminates. On the bottom of the speaker, turn the channel to either 1, 2, or 3 making sure it's the same channel selected on the transmitter dock. From the speaker, you can adjust the volume up and down, turn on extra bass, and light up the speaker. For more information about this and our other great products, check us out at brookstone.com.